today we're going to be testing out the level 4 composite body armor from the Target Man. I'm going to throw this particular plate in the description below. You can check it out there. Real quick, it, again, it's level 4 NIJ certified, which means it'll stop 30 out 6 armor piercing rounds. So what we're going to do today is we're going to shoot it once and it's about center mass. Try to put another round a little bit above that. Check out you know, the damage, see what happens. And then uh, go from there, hit it with a few other rounds and see how it holds up. So let's get shooting. Target man body armor versus 30-06 armor piercing round. Shot one. All right, time to check it out. Shot pretty much right where I wanted it to. So, see what the plate looks like. Here's the plate after I pulled it out. It shot a little left. I guess that's how it was in the carrier. I don't know, pretty damn close to center mass, but all this powder, I'm assuming the composite and stuff, once I pulled it out, it, I mean, try to get it to focus. There you go. You can see it went straight, you know. There's all the powder there from when I pulled it out. Um, however, the back, I mean, see, it's got a little dent there, but it, I mean, it didn't even break the, uh, the label that they got on the back. So that's, that's pretty damn impressive. Um, check out the fragmentation on it, on the best though. See what that has. Again, there's the entrance wound. Um, up here looks, I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks like a couple pieces right there. That all blew out of the the top. Damn. However, the the flap on it caught caught it. It took the buckle off, but I mean as far as as far as up around the face and the neck area, there's there's really nothing. So we'll get this plate back in here and Shoot it for round two. I'll try to aim a little higher and see where it ends up. 30 out six AP, round number two. Let's check it out. All right, there's round number two. I wanted to get it higher, actually. Got it a little lower. Um, We'll see where it is on the plate. I'm gonna try to get it. I'm just gonna pull the flap so you all can see uh, everything uh, possibly fall out. Oh shit, that's not good. Well, let's hope it doesn't fall out into a hundred different pieces. All right. So, round two, again, I was trying to get a little higher. Unfortunately, went lower. Um, pretty damn close there. There's little shell fragments in there. Looks like it's, it's got a crack down in here. As far as the back, I'm sure if I dug enough, I could find the round. I mean, it's probably still in there. However, unfortunately, I mean, a freaking maybe not I don't know because it blew a hole in the back of the plate carrier so 30 out 6 m2 armor piercing rounds two rounds defeats the plate um, so that's where we're at we'll check spalling on this see how many fragments came out I was kind of hoping to shoot it with more stuff not sure if it used high I don't know, I can't tell if that's more damage there or not. Um, but again, there, there's the back. Yeah, that went straight through. So, you didn't focus there. Yeah, she blew right through there, looks like. 
this hole here right out. So, that's it there. Target man, level four plate, two rounds, armor piercing. Um, again, if you're standing still after you get hit with one, you're not really the smartest, but that's what it holds up to, two rounds. So, just because I can, I might shoot it with some more stuff. Spartan Armor versus PDX-1 12 gauge shotgun. Stopped it. I'll be damned. I did not see that coming. Holy shit. I don't know if you can see. It stopped that slug, the frangible on it. The PDX1 also has the pellets in it. I would be damned. It's got some splitting down there, but. That is. Whew, I can't believe that. It, I mean, it split it around. I don't think this thing would have held up another one, but. To hold up that is just, after it already has a hole in it, it's impressive. I'm gonna hit it now with Glock 19, critical duties, see what it does. Getting all that powder and stuff falling out. Starting to split. It stopped them though. Yeah, I don't think she's got much left in her. So, but that's, that's, none of them went through either. That's impressive. Only the one round went through on that the 30 out six armor piercing when I hit it twice that's the only thing that defeated this plate even after it had been defeated the 12 gauge PDX one slug trapped as well as the nine millimeter hey everybody just finished up testing out the Spartan armor plates the fact that the second round defeated it kind of got me a little worried not gonna lie but when I decided to shoot it with a 12 gauge, I honestly, I was hoping just to blow the plate into pieces. Um, and it didn't happen. And it stopped it, which really, really surprised me. And then the fact that I threw multiple 9mm rounds at it, and it stopped those. It really, it really shocked me. You know, the plate started to separate, but the fact that nothing went through is just amazing. When I shot the slug, pretty much the same place as the, uh, the armor piercing rounds hit. So would I recommend these plates for you to purchase or anyone looking to buy purchase some plates on a budget or whether you're prepping or whatever the case may be? Definitely. Um, I think for the price, you really can't beat them. I saw some, some plates that were claimed to be level three plates just as expensive as these level fours and they were shot with an AR and it went through it like butter. Um, you know, and so the fact that those will pretty much stop anything, definitely, I, I would, I'd recommend purchasing them, no question about it, or no doubt in my mind, I'd, I'd stand behind those. So thanks for watching, be sure if you have any questions, like, subscribe, comment, uh, shoot us a message on Facebook or at our website, whitewolftactical.com. Thanks.